I'd like to ask a question to everyone. Does anybody know where we're from? Because we're definitely not from Korea. And where the fuck we from? We're not from fucking Sydney either. We from outer space. Jumping off the base. Off the base. Woo! Ganging on the track. On the track. He got her little powder tape. Ice in my face. Huh? Ice on my chain. Huh? I've never been this nervous. <laughs> really? Because today it's oh. our people. They bought tickets to us. So even if we make mistakes, it doesn't matter. They'll enjoy that yeah, as well. Yeah. And we'll enjoy making mistakes in front of them as well. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm very excited. Wednesday night and Sunday 10 to 3, 4 p.m. I'm in church. Huh? <laughs> I thought he was a rapper, not a saxophonist. I feel awkward if I don't go to church. That's how I felt when I missed out on church with 1300 when we go to like Melbourne and Brisbane and stuff. Yeah, it's just part of my life that I can't really separate myself to anymore. Like, yeah, it's kind of hard to say. Eh? I never spoke about Christianity in English because <laughs> I only went to Korean church. Oxford Art Factory or like Enmore, my, my parents go like, yeah, cool. But when it's Opera House, it's like, Opera House? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going on Opera House? Like, we even sold out like 250 people. That also feels unreal. Yeah. What if people just bought it and then they go like, ha, huh, you guys thought you sold out and no one actually showed up? <laughs> That's yeah, like some 50 cent yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. We just bought tickets so your fans can come. Discord. Uh, oh. oh, wow. And there you arrived. You arrived? In Sydney. In Sydney. Fuck it, man. He's a man of little words, but when he does speak, like, the ground shakes. That's how <laughs> <laughs> Is he Jesus, man? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what do you mean? Not wow. like, like, when he says something to say, or like, you know, it, it's, it's very objective. He's a robot. He doesn't do his job through emotions. He does his job through oh what God. makes sense. Emotionally stunted, as my girlfriend says. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what they mean. <laughs> I personally kind of see him as like the creative director in a way. I like it more than the I, I feel like he has a really clear vision of what 1300 is. He's trying to push the boundaries and. Yeah, he pushes. He, like, I think he's like a mother eagle. Do you know like the, how <laughs> eagles train their kids? As soon as the, the baby eagle like comes out of the shell, they'll just throw them off the cliff. What? Uh, really? Yeah, and then. Yeah, and then good. they'll go down and catch them again, come up and throw them again until they learn how to fly by themselves. I want to support people to do better things is like, like my natural instinct is to say like, oh, your music fucking sucks. You need to like do better or else you're going to be a fucking loser for the rest of your life. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Feels unreal. Yeah. Well, I've never actually been inside the opera house until when we first checked out the place. It's so weird because like I still don't think like we deserve it. You know what I mean? It's so weird. I think we deserve it. Yeah? Oh, okay, then it's just me. <laughs> My dad used to perform there as in like sing opera. 
at the Opera House. And now he gets to see his son perform, which is cool. So if there's like a fine line, like if, if this is like 100% Australian and this is 100% Korean, Nerdy would be sitting around here. And then Jason. Then Goyo. <laughs> then me. Then Dali. Yeah. <laughs> we just never seen Australia as our major territory. We're talking about like, let's move to Korea for like a year or two and see how things work out. And then people started really listening to our music and becoming interested. So we're like, oh shit, maybe we can stay in Australia. And I think staying in Australia is good. Like, that's Centrelink. <laughs> Tense a bit. Sick man, sick brother man. There was a point in my life where I wanted to be like more Australian, if that makes sense. That Surf looked like me. And yeah. read a book on the beach. Yeah. White people <laughs> shit. I actually did that at uni. I'd like ride my bike to uni and during the breaks, I would like ride up to Kuji, read my book and then ride back. Yeah, you know? and go to Chinese restaurant yeah, and act like you can speak Chinese. Yeah, I mean, I mean <laughs> uh, you know, try to, you know. Go to a Japanese restaurant and still speak Chinese. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even listen to Korean music before I met these guys, so. It was a real eye opener. And then it was nice to like get in touch with my actual roots again and not be ashamed of it. Oh, I was talking about Vivid with my dad. <laughs> nice timing. Yeah. He's coming? Yeah, he's coming. Yeah. Has he been to any of your shows before? No, it's his first time. So that's why I'm more like nervous. And then he didn't like me doing music at the first place. But now, nowadays, after doing World 300, he's kind of like supportive. But I want him to be more supportive after watching the Vivid show. Mm. What's banjo? Vla. Banjo? Okay. Um. Satisfied, yeah. Ah, true, satisfied. True, true. I want him to be satisfied. <laughs> like, oh my god, I just forgot the word. How would you describe your father? Um, very supportive. And like he's he's not like much of like he can't really express what he feels, but like I can still even though he doesn't really say it, like I can still feel that he's proud or and how supportive he's been. It's just a bit of a culture thing, I think. I've maybe seen like one dad that said, I love you to like their kid. Mm. And I was like, wow, that's probably like the percentage, like, <laughs> like 0.2%. <Yeah. laughs> like our family knows how we really feel, so. Oh. Uh, <laughs> In Korean culture, the parents uh, uh, prepare just study for like become a lawyer, doctor. At the time, I just remind if I marry and then I have a kid, I try let them go whatever I enjoy. That's why I try, yeah. That's, that's, that's the point, yeah. Mm. In primary school, when I first came to Australia, the only Korean kid was me in that whole school. And I didn't even know the alphabet. So like, I, there's no way I can communicate. Kids that just circle around me and they'd be like, Yo, you fucking Asian, and like, you know, just say all that racist shit, and I just fought all of them. 
because like I couldn't stand that. I just like I don't know, but I was like really like patriotic towards Korea, and I was like whatever. I don't know where I got that from, but like I, all Korean people have that. Yeah, life. like I was only in year four, but like I was just so mad at the fact that like talking shit about Korea. I still have that courage to like when people just say I can't do something, like even music when they say like oh no you can't be a rapper like. Who do you think you are? You think you're special? Like that kind of shit. If they say that, I just say, okay, just, just, just watch, just watch. And that's what I've been doing my whole life. Oh my God, it's so dirty. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Where did you get here? <clears throat> Yeah, so welcome to my crib, MTV. <laughs> Around a few years ago, I started, I started sort of waking up. I basically had a fucking mental breakdown. I did a bunch of acid in the Blue Mountains, like full ego death type shit. And then I was just, I had like intense anxiety for the whole week afterwards. And I started writing down like my thoughts. I basically started thinking again. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing in my life? I should be making music. Like people that know me know like what kind of transformation I went through. I was going to be an IT professional or what I thought I wanted to do. But then I wasn't thinking so I didn't think about anything. I was, I was just yeah, that was a turning point in my life. I, I think I need like, one again soon. I really want to try DMT. Yeah, it's our first proper show like after the mixtape came out. Like it'll be a good vibe. Yeah. Because everyone's just there to see us and it's like, everyone will be excited and shit, ready to like party. Yeah. And yeah, my grandma's calling. Hello? Oh, how many? Oh, I need the get the get castle. You hear a shout at me, bro? What's she gonna do to you when you get there? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be driving behind the cops. My car's unregistered. I love my grandmother. She's classic. She's like classic. She's a real grandmother. <laughs> I think grandparents are quite good at raising children because they've done it before. So they made the mistakes already. So they're trying not to do that again. Mm. Yeah, I don't know anyone like my grandma. She's quite special. I like being Korean. You know, I get to eat a lot of Korean food. Like, I love soup. Soup makes me want to cry, like when I eat soup. It's just so good. Like pork bone soup. Yeah, I think that's the most Korean thing about me is I love soup. <laughs> you know what might help you? Like, if you like write it in like regular, like, penmanship. You know, if, you, if you don't try to like signature it, you know, like. I, I swear it looked better when it was like this. A, L, I, and a half. Bro, that's like a like a Salvador Dali like ripoff. <laughs> we need to we need to finalize that old boy thing and then the and then we mix lost in translation. Oh. <laughs> Firstly, it's an hour long, which is the first time we're doing an hour set, I believe. Most we've done is like forty five minutes, so we want to be able to be the best version of ourselves tomorrow and really you know, give them their money's worth.
카리와 함께 박수 쳐주세요. 아, 이거 맞지? 어. 아, 이게 카리구나. 아, 운동하시는 지금 엄마 아빠 홈쇼 갈 때도 항상 아, 운동하시는 거. 아니야, 운동하시나? 운동하시는 이번에 좀 운동하시는 거 음. 같다. 음. 내가 음악을 처음 이제 제대로 한다고 밝혔을 때 엄마 아빠가 기분이 어땠냐고. 힘들었지. <웃음> 아 진짜? 여기 와가지고 아, 우리가 네가... 세트도 안 되고. 어 근데 그러니까 뭔가 너도 힘든데. 불안하고 우리도 불안한데 그 불안한 상태가. 뭔가 무슨 약간 루저 된 듯한 느낌이 없지 않아 있었어. 일반적인 엄마처럼 했던 그런 엄마들의 아웃풋을 우리가 좀 기다렸던 것 같다라고 하면서 그냥 1년 정도 헤맸어. 1년 정도 헤맸다가 네가 나한테 한번 그런 얘기를 했었어. 야, 엄마가 나 교육시킬 때는 꿈꾸라고 하고 자유롭게 하라고 나를 그렇게 키웠는데 지금 이 결과를 원하려면 차라리 어릴 때 나한테 막 푸쉬를 했으면 되는데 엄마 나한테 꿈을 꾸라고 해놓고 나는 그래서 그때 엄마가 아빠한테 그런 얘기 한것 같아. 우리가 쟤한테 인풋을 그렇게 주지 않았는데 우리가 너한테 지금 남들 공부를 막 시키고 막 음. 그래서 좀 그런 건 있어요. 이제 너를 통해서 어 뭐, 뭐라고 해야 되지? 이렇게 뭐 꿈? 아 저게 전혀 안될것 같은 꿈인데 되네? 하는 거. 이게 <웃음> 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 To set dreams big, I think we'll be the first worldwide K-pop, but not K-pop artist. <laughs> That's my dream. Yeah, where we see people who don't speak Korean memorizing our verse in Korean. They'll be sick. I got caught up in fast fire, never getting tired. Satisfying the buyer, changing the colors. Hit it up, all yeah. Then we do mantra. Me and Zaki inspo, just set flow, change the low blow. Tap the piano slow, man, it's easy. Don't talk, do me your hope. Don't you cope? We're so busy. You're gonna budge with my mask on. I got no problem. Talk to your side of some nine. I'm gonna knock him and twenty. Don't you worry. It's a go on any man and engine. I'm gonna put him. Can't go to the jumping off the ocean. Too high. Go open up your wallets. Got you good airplane. Now I need your pillow. Got up and dead.